Hello everyone, Susan here with SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in, relax, we're gonna to create together. Oh, it's been a busy day and so I'm looking forward to creating with you all. So thanks for tuning in. So glad that you're here. Um, I uh, would like to remind you that I do send out free project sheets. Who got their free project sheets today? Uh, today the Never Ending Funfold uh, project sheets went out in email. If you're not currently getting my project sheet emails, you can subscribe right here, cstanfield.com. Click on the subscribe button and select project sheets. You can also subscribe to my blog as well so you don't miss any blog posts. Hope you're all doing well. My moderator, Jennifer Walsh, is hanging in the comments helping us out tonight. Jennifer, I tried to email you um, what we were doing tonight and um, your email it came back and said it had been blocked. <laughs> so uh, there are some big email changes coming on February 1st and I think the email things are starting early. So I don't know why because I am verified and all of that. But crazy stuff, right? If you're not getting that, you got your project sheet, Len, yay! Um, if you are subscribed to the project sheets and you're not getting them, sometimes it does take a little while, um, but um, you can also reach out to me, go to um, suestampfield.com, go to my blog, and uh, click on contact me and uh, send me an email, let me know what, that you're not getting them, then I'll have your email, I can have my email people figure it all out, right? So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna make a card tonight. We're actually going to case a card. We're gonna case a swap. Case means to copy and share everything. And so I was recent, recently in a, uh, a swap and I love this card that I got. And so we're going to attempt to make it. We'll see how we go. <laughs> so uh, let me know what's in your cup tonight. Um, I don't have a cup. Oh my gosh, we're in trouble. I don't even have my water, you guys. <laughs> well, I can't lose anything. I know you'll just have to take a sip for me. So we play a little game here. I'm a messy stamper and I lose things. When I find it again, I say found it. We all take a sip of our beverage. So let's go ahead and I see you're letting me know what's in your cup. I see a lot of water drinkers here. That is my go-to. My water is apparently downstairs. I don't know. It's not it's not present. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my desktop. Bear with me. I'm just trying to find the right button. Oh, ha, found it. Take a sip, everyone. I found the right button. We got, what, a tear and tape? What is that even doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, I know why that was here because of the card we made a while ago. So the Never Any Fun Fold card went out um, in today's project sheet email. So this is a never ending fun fold card. It's an origami fold and it folds like this and then like this and then like this and that's the end and then it starts over again and you can just keep going. It's really quite fun actually. And although it looks scary, I, I was scared and intimidated by this card for a long time. And one of our viewers here um, requested that I do a video on it. So I'm like, okay, I can do this. And now I'm just having fun with it, right? <laughs> They're so fun. So this project sheet for the perennial lavender one went out today's email. I also sent this project sheet for the same type of fun fold with the adorable Be Mine Suite. So um, we're opening up like this. Hey, my Facebook friends are tuning into, oh wait, Susan, you're upside down and backwards. <gasps> Goodness. All right. That's the end of the card. Let's turn it right side up. Oh my gosh. I did this. I did this last time you guys where I got it. I got it wonky. See what I did? I got it. <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy, Susan. All right. <clears throat> let's fly right. Let's, 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 let's do it. I'm, I'm going to get this. Okay. This is on the wrong side. All right. This is what happened. It went like that. <gasps> okay. We're all fixed now. <laughs> so this is how this one is supposed to go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, so like that. I love these little, little honey pots here. They're just so cute. We've got our love you bees and then a happy Valentine's day at the end. So if that ever happens to you that all of a sudden the side that should be on the left ends up on the right, it just means that you did this where you twisted it and you just need to flip it back over, right? <laughs> So uh, these two went out in today's project sheet and there will be another project sheet coming soon. In our last video, we made this fun fold card with the gorgeous, um, what was this one called? Lovely and sweet, right? The lovely and sweet um, 
dies is how we cut this and the paper is called oh my good heavens what is the paper called well well hang on it's right here on my chair well part of it is right here it's so pretty right it's gorgeous um notes of nature i believe is what the um <laughs> the the paper is called so is that right is that right is that what this one's called <gasps> no that's what this one's called oh i am you know what i am just losing it tonight hang on jennifer help <laughs> um it's called nature's sweetness oh lord you guys we are in trouble tonight mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. it's all right it's all good so um <laughs> we made this card and the it um this paper is so elegant i agree with you joe it's um just beautiful beautiful elegant paper we embossed the thinking of you and this is that fun fold that we've been playing with um, we made one previously right here um, this was also inspired by a swap card that i got from ruth bingle which is this one but tonight we're going to case another swap card um this one is let me just shove those over where's the card we're casing oh it's right here all right so i got this card in a swap from beth tetzlaff um beth is part of the stamp share for leaders group that i'm in and it was at the stamp share for leaders swap and um i just i love the color combination so this is boho blue paired with early espresso and then also pebbled path which is just a really peaceful and calm color combo. So we're gonna case Beth's card. Um, and she looks, she even did some stamping on the inside. And this is, um, so it's a, a vertical card that opens that way. And then uh, Beth's information, I don't believe she has a blog, but she does have a Facebook page, which is called, um, paper uh, paper cuts and creations but the cuts and creations is with a k so i'll put a link to her facebook page in the um the youtube video here so that you can um, track beth down if you want to see her other beautiful creations so let's go ahead and see if we can make this so now beth used first of all i love this reading too i am currently way 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 behind on birthday cards like way way <laughs> Jennifer knows. I'm way behind, aren't I, Jennifer? And um, this particular one, could that fun fold be sized to six by six instead of 12 by 12? Oh, Mary Westling has thrown down the gauntlet. She's challenging me to try and adapt this fold. Mm, Mary, okay. Mm. All right, I will, I will take a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this, <laughs> Jennifer, um, Jennifer says her lips are sealed. Yeah, she's not telling how behind I'm on birthdays, but I am behind. I, I did get four out in the mail today, Jennifer. I'd like you to know that. Uh, maybe three. Three? Anyway, I got some in the mail today. Um, I love this greeting. Today is all about you. Happy birthday. Isn't that the perfect birthday greeting? Uh, which reminds me, I want to thank each and every one of you um, for making and sending handmade cards. You are making the world a kinder place. What a joy to receive a handmade birthday card or thinking of you card or anniversary card or any card that's handmade in the mail, right? Any snail mail actually is just a joy to get. So um, let's take a look here. This is a set that has that great saying in it, Notes of Nature, it's called. And it also has these fun um, kind of uh, uh, background stamps that she used. So we've got this sort of uh, grid paper here. And she used that in the background. She also used it on the inside of the card. It's got a fun speckle here. Speckle stamps are a great way to hide boo-boos. <laughs> You get a little ink blob, you get a little, you know, it happens, right? It happens, right? So the, these, this co covers a lot of, of ills, <laughs> a little speckle and, and it just makes you be artistic, right? And like, you know, you're doing it on purpose. So, um, and then we have some, some leaves, some, I don't know, is that a flower, a uh, weed? Uh, it's a nature thing. <laughs> And then we have a flower here. Um, and then this is just kind of another vintage looking like field notes. Um, just that vintage look. And then we have just a little note to say hello. And then the dies that go with this, that coordinate with this, um, we've got some dies that cut out the leafy stem here, the 
Mm, let's call it, it weed does not sound very nice. Let's call it a nature stem. How about a prairie plant? I don't know. This particular plant. And then we have um, a, a die that cuts out the flower. And then we have a lot of standalone dies. So we have this fun one where you can thread ribbon. Um, this particular suite has some metallic um, leather. Um, it's like a, it's like, reminds me when you do like, um, bracelets or things like that. It's just this cool leather trim and it's um, it's got a metallic gold uh, sheen to it, which is really awesome. And you can thread that through. Um, so this die will cut holes and stitching in the edge of your card. And then you've got these long leaves and then some other leafy bits, which is what Beth used on her cards. So let's case Beth. Oh, oh, I just realizing she used another die that I did not get out. Um, let me grab the perennial postage dies. Hold on, hold the phone. Houston, we have a problem. We're <laughs> missing a die. Not that I couldn't cut it square. Wild flowers does sound better than weeds. I agree with you, Lisa. You are absolutely 100% correct. These are all the dies that I have from the mini catalog and I'm just flipping through to find, ah, found them. There they are. Take a sip, everyone. We've located the postage dies. These are actually the top selling die in the mini catalog, and it's no wonder because you get all of these dies that nest one, two, three, four nesting dies here, the two larger dies, which are fun for doing layers, the two layering squares, and then this one that has the postage bits on the H end. So, and then of course, this one that does a, a hole and this one that does a reinforcer for the hole, and this one is a little tag opening. So let's um, pull this out and figure out which one Beth used here. It looks to me like it's the smaller one, right? That's uh, the smaller of the big ones. <laughs> so we're gonna need that. And then I believe these are punches. This one is the Heartfelt Hexagon. That punch has been insanely popular, like crazy popular, and it is currently out of stock. Um, it is not expected back until April. They might be able to improve that date, but right now that Heartfelt Hexagon punch is out of stock, but we will use it anyway. So those of you that have it um, can get inspiration, and those of you that don't have it yet, when you buy it in the future, you'll have an idea for it. I'm stalling because I'm not sure which circle. That doesn't look big enough. I think she used, I think she used the biggest perk punch we have for the big circle. Does that look right, guys? I think so. This is, yeah, this is the two and three eighths inch punch. So we use that. Now, if you didn't have the circle punch, you certainly could use a die. If you didn't have the hexagon punch, you could certainly use a shaped die. So wildflowers is a better, better term than weed. I totally agree. <laughs> and then we're going to do some die cutting, some stamping, all the things, right? All right. So let's clear the deck. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm so good at making messes. It is just ridiculous how good I am at making messes. Okay. Hey, it's good to have skills, right? <laughs> I have a mess making skill apparently. All right, we're in a losing thing skill. Oh, here it is. Found it. I knew I'd brought the die cutting machine over, but I couldn't find it because I put it on the floor because I have other things on my chair right now. Usually I put it on my chair. So this is the stamp and cut emboss machine. This machine uh, cuts metal dies. It also um, uh, embosses. We're going to go with the die cutting setup, which is the platform number one, the thin die adapter number two, and then a, a plate number three. This is an old start up one. Looks like I used it for copper or gold. It's got a lot of shimmer to it. And then we'll need one more plate for the top. But first we need our dies and our paper. So let's just start with a piece of, oh, you guys. I am almost at a white cardstock. How did this happen? Oh my goodness. Hmm. Hang on. I'm cutting it over here. Hang on. I cut it over here because I already had the die cutting machine out and it's I, not that I haven't die cut on or used the cutting cutter on top of the die cutting machine. I think I did it last time. 
left a weird blob on my paper. I'm going to flip it over and do it right here. So we're going to go ahead and cut this out. Um, and yeah, I am out of paper. Fortunately, uh, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So that means I get 20% discount at the minimum on my orders. And once you get a higher title, you get 25%. So, um, you know, I get my discount. Um, if you are considering uh, giving it a try, becoming a demonstrator, look how cute that is. That is that second down from largest um, postal label. Um, it is a great time to give it a try in January or February because you get extra stuff. So you get to pick out $125 of product of your choice and pay $99, um, free shipping, just pay tax. And, uh, but during celebration, you also can choose either a glass mat studio as a bonus, or you can choose $30 in additional product for no charge. Um, to add to your 125, bringing it up to what is that? 155. <laughs> so uh, it's a great um, deal. All right, so we've got this. Um, cover the die with a scrap to protect clear plate. Hmm. Um, I'm I okay. That went by. That comment went by too fast for me to get. So how do my paper get so dirty? I think my my plate is not the cleanest. All right, so I've got this cut right here, and then the other die cutting. While we have this out. Let's go ahead and take care of that. So we've got some early espresso leaves and some boho blue leaves. Now remember, this is art. Art doesn't have to be realistic, although we certainly can have brown leaves. It's not common that you see blue leaves of that color, but it is a striking color combination. And it looks like she also used a little, um, a little leafy thing. And I'm just trying to see yeah, I think it's this longer one right here. Yep, she did. Oh, wait, this one. Oh, she did both of these. Okay. All right. We have all of our dies that are on this card checking in, reporting in for duty. Let's grab. Oh, my gosh. How lucky is that? I just so happen to have, because I never put anything away. <laughs> I just so happen to have. Um. Uh, some boho blue on my paper. Anne is asking if the $155 in the product kit for the starter kit, if you get celebration items for that. You do not. With the starter kit, you get that $30 in free product or you get that um, glass mat studio. You don't get the celebration items. You get the other things instead. However, as soon as you get the starter kit, you're going to get a demonstrator number and then you can place your own order and you will qualify for celebration things. Okay. Grab a paper trimmer as long as that order is before celebration ends at the end of February. I'm going to chop this down because I do not need anything nearly this large. So I'm going to cut this down. Here we go. All right. And then I need some early espresso. Ooh, boy, that was dangerous. <laughs> I had those loose dyes. I should have used my little magnetic dish. All right, I'm going to go. Um, you know what? I'm not. I was going to go digging, but I'm not. I'm going to grab a whole brand new sheet of early espresso <laughs> off my shelf because, you know, we don't have time for me digging in my scrap drawer. We got stuff to do. We got cards to make. Let's just chop a chunk off here. Mm not exact here this is this is called use your scraps right friends all right so we're gonna take this all right you guys need to just hang out over here i lost one already all right so i need two of these bigger leafy ones in the early espresso and all the rest are in the boho so i'm just going to position them on here just want to make sure that they are all the way on the paper Oh my goodness, I am completely kitty wampus and sideways. Sorry about that. Um, this one I was wanting to stick to my surface. Ah, I won in the end. I was determined. All right, so let's go ahead and put this in. You haven't seen the sun in eight days. Oh dear. Um, it was actually sunny here in Minnesota, but it, it was gloomy uh, at other parts of the day. So I feel your pain. Um, it is, it is, uh, you do end up missing the sun a lot in these long winter days, don't you? Or they should say short winter days and long nights, long winter nights. All right. 
crank that through and whew, that was <laughs> that was a workout i was i was going at it at a really weird angle so probably not the best choice <gasps> look how pretty oh oh don't you fall on the floor nice try die i caught it you guys i caught it before it ran away texas is too sunny and hot huh all right here is so pretty right you know what i'm really dark here that's probably because and turn that light on there that's a little better hopefully you can see that better so there is one leafy stem we need another one like that let's see what we got with our boho blue here so we've got another leafy stem and that boho blue is such a pretty soft blue it's a little bit of a cool tone blue not a super warm blue and it's just very soothing it's a soothing color at least i find it so all right i am going to find my if i do this maybe it'll magically oh found it ah, take your pick tool so that i can poke these out so these dies are made with little ejection holes so you can um, take a, a tool like your take your pick tool and just give it a little poke there's also a die brush attachment to the for the take your pick tool and you can roll it out with the die with the stiff bristled brush that you attach to this tool. Um, but these little guys come out very easy with the just a little poke or two. So I'm going to pop them out. So I don't need any more of those. I do need one more of these and one more of these. And then we're ready to start building our card. Now these uh, stamps I actually have not used yet. So I'm going to have to have you bear with me while we put them on the block for the first time and give them a go. Wow, why is that so blurry? My camera is focusing on I don't even know what. All right, let's give this a crank. And we can pull the die cutting machine out of here. 60 degrees in North Dakota today, huh? Oh, wow. We were in the 30s here in Minnesota, which is, you know, pretty good for January. And I think we're going to be even, I think we're going to be in the 40s tomorrow. So crazy. All right. We've got these guys all done. All right. You know what? I do not trust myself to just, <laughs> I don't like to leave small dies laying on my surface because they go missing. So I have these uh, magnetic sheets that I get from Stampin' Storage. Um, with the little pockets and that's how I choose to store my dies. I know some people actually just um, store them right in their stamp set. They put a piece of magnet um, inside the stamp set and store them right inside. That works as well. Whatever works for you, I say do it, right? All right, so we've got that die cut. And oh, <laughs> I almost forgot to pop this one out. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's just gently convince it to come out and play. All right, let's set this aside. I think we've done our die cutting. If not, it's not going far away, so we can always uh, grab it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to just copy this card. So I've got the two and three eighths in circle punch. I'm gonna punch out that early espresso circle. There we go. And then I'm going to Ah, grab <laughs> this upside down so it's, it was like invisible to me I'm gonna grab a piece of a piece of pebbled path I know this is a card base I'm being wasteful you guys you know what maybe not okay I'm gonna do this I am going to slide my punch all the way into this card and a little bit in from the side I'm in from the bottom I'm gonna punch it out and now I can make this card into a window card later right didn't ruin it at all, but I got the piece that I needed, which is going to go, these two are going to layer together. And we've got our background piece. We're going to need some other cardstock. Looks like our card base is the early espresso. So this is where our paper trimmer is going to come into play. So let's grab another piece of early espresso. And we're going to cut this at four and a quarter. And it's four and a quarter by 11, and we're going to score it at five and a half. 
to make our card base. So, okay, I'm gonna slide the cutting blade out of the way just so I don't get in trouble. So we've got our card base here. And just fold it like that. So our card's gonna open the long way. And we need a piece of pebbled path and a piece of white to layer behind. So the pebbled path piece, <laughs> that's a lot of peas, is five and a quarter. I'm assuming, I'm guessing here. It, ours is going to be five and a quarter by four. And our right here and then we're gonna do she did a piece of white behind and that really makes it pop so let's do the same again this card was created by Beth Tetzlaff and it's gorgeous so thank you Beth for inspiring us this is four and an eighth by five and three eighths Okay, we've got that layer. Let's see if I cut that right. Yep, just gives us a very thin white border. And then we'll go on our card. We've got that, we got that. Okay, the last thing I think we need to cut, my friends, is the uh, piece for the inside of the card and a piece for the sentiment. So that one I am going to need to measure here. So that is three and a half by one. Another great way to use up scraps. Don't happen to have a one inch scrap at the ready, so I will cut a new one. That is a, a, a size I often have laying about for some reason. All right, so there's one by three and a half. There we go. All right. I think we have all our pieces. I think, oh, whoops, I forgot one, didn't I? Forgot the piece for the inside. When you're using a dark card base, you do need to have a lighter uh, piece on the inside or there's nowhere to write. So I'm gonna do another, uh, what did I just cut? <laughs> I think I cut it five and a quarter. We'll find out by four, four by five and a quarter for the inside of the card. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. Cut the one by three from your layer portion. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, it's a little tricky to cut. Um, I mean, you could take your trimmer and cut it out of the middle. It's easier to die cut out of there. So you're right. If you were doing this as a die cut label, you totally could take it out of there and nobody would be the wiser, right? You guys are so good at paper saving. I have to admit, I'm not always as good as I could be because I'm a little bit lazy. <laughs> so I'll just grab a new sheet. Um, okay, so where are we at here? Where are we at? Oh, by the way, I did want to mention. Um, so the the last Crafternoon we did was this card, the box seat fun fold card. And this one is the Forever Love Suite. Um, I did want to mention the stamp set for this is currently out of stock, but it will be back very soon. So if you're going to go in and try to order that suite or that bundle, um, just know that it's just the stamp set that is out of stock and it will be back soon. You can shoot me, go to my blog, suestampfield.com, shoot me an email through contact me, and I can let you know the exact date that that will be back in stock. Okay, where are we at here? Where are we at? And the afternoon, if you're interested in learning about that, um, box seat fun fold card you can go to um where can they go susan they go to my blog seestampfield.com and see all the details on there all right we're going to go ahead and do some stamping here oh, i'm just realizing that beth also stamped that field notes one back here behind the leaves so let's pull out some stamps um like i said this is a brand new never been never been inked <laughs> stamp set so so exciting to use stamps for the first time right so we've got the grid we've got that field notes um, we want our 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 um, splatter stamp here cover up all our boo-boos 
and then that birthday sentiment. And I think that's all I need. All right. I don't know. We could do our, um, what do we decide instead of weed? Um, oh, wildflower. Our wild, <laughs> our wildflower stamp. Could do some of that too if we chose to on the inside maybe. Or did she on the inside? Well, she didn't, but we could. All right. Let's peel this backing off. There we go. So lazy. I'm not even going to put the labels on. I'm just anxious to get inking. You got this one, Kenzie? Yeah. Um, uh, my friend Karen just ordered this one today. She's watching. Hey, Karen, here's an idea for you. <laughs> she got the whole suite. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous suite. All right, we're going to go ahead and, mm, is that even remotely straight? Um, I might need to, you know what, I'm going to pull out the glass mat here. Um, we're going to get a little reflection. I apologize for that, but I think it is going to be better for me for our card. So, fortunately, I have very forgiving viewers. So, thank you for your understanding. If we have a little bit of, of reflection going on here. All right. Pulling that out, I've now dropped... <laughs> Oh, drop three new things that you know what that that is how I roll okay so this seemed really wonky to me and so now I can take the grid on my glass mat and see that well yes I am not straight on the block which since I didn't bother putting the label on um, that's gonna probably get me in trouble all right that looks a little bit straighter and let's get some more blocks more blocks we need more blocks it looks like size uh, block D is perfect for the field note stamp. And then the speckle stamp can go on a block C here. All right, I thought we needed an, oh yeah, here's the other one. I was like, wait, I have another stamp. Uh, let's grab, uh oh. <laughs> I'm laughing because I might actually have to, um, I, I have a few stamps. <clears throat> on my desk that uh, I have a few blocks on my desk that are, have stamps on them. So I just ripped one off and we're going to put on here. I'm going to put this on uh, at an angle so that it will all fit. Okay. We're good to go. So the ink colors we want here are, looks like Pebbled Path, full link, Pebbled Path stamped off, and our Boho Blue. So let's grab our Boho here and let's grab our Pebbled Path. Pebbled Path is a taupe color. I don't know how it shows up on the camera. Taupe is hard to photograph, and it often shows up as gray, but it's really more of a brown gray, I would say. All right, so we're going to start with this grid pattern in the Pebbled Path. And it's just going to be stamped. Is that sort of straight? I really should have put the labels on. Mm, that would have helped me out a ton. But it's okay. It's an eclectic thing. It doesn't matter if it's straight, right? So we've got that down. We're going to take our field notes here, also in Pebbled Path, and give those a stamp up near the top. All right, got our field notes on there. Now a lot of this is gonna be covered up with our decoration and that's all good, right? So we're gonna take Pebbled Path with our little fun speckle stamps here and we're gonna stamp them once. I'm gonna go right off the page here onto the glass mat and then stamp a second time so that's a little bit lighter. Oh, I should have gotten my, ooh, hang on. I think, so this glass mat comes with a cleaning cloth. Oh, it is still damp. Oh, hurrah. <laughs> Gosh, that's that stays nice and damp for a while. That's great. I had it in a plastic stamp box. Okay, I'm going to pop it over there. And then we're going to add, I just wanted to get that off before I got ink on my cards. So now we're going to do the same thing in the upper corner here. So we're going to stamp it once. And then a second time lighter. And then we're going to clean this and we're going to add some uh, boho blue speckles. So I've got my cleaning pad here. Going to add a little stamp and mist to that. So 
So the Stampin' Mist um, cleans your stamp, it's, stamps, it also conditions them, keeps them nice. Whoops, I didn't quite get, not a good cleaning job, Sue. I missed that, <laughs> missed the bottom corner. Oh, okay, that looks so much better. All right, we're gonna set that aside and now we're gonna switch to blue. And I'm gonna add some speckles here and some speckles down here. All right, got a little bit of ink on my um, surface here, so I'm just gonna give that a rub. And I've got something sticky here. So I'm gonna take some Stampin' Mist and just spritz it on there and just clean that goo right off. It's the beauty of the glass. That stuff does not stay around. It comes right off. Okay, so we've got this much done. Let's see if I can find, up, oh, up. Oh, where is it? Found it. All right, I totally don't trust myself. Well, you know what, if I stamp it crooked, I can always stamp it again, right? I can, I can flip it over. All right, I'm gonna stamp this in Pebbled Path. Send good straight inky thoughts my way because I didn't put the label on the back, so I'm winging it. Oh my gosh, that came out very straight. All right, that was that was the glass mat in action. That was what allowed me to get this on the block straight so that I could stamp it straight. So hurrah. Okay, so we've got our card is being built here. Whew. Hello, Cheryl. All right, so I've got <laughs> stuff everywhere. You know, while I have an inky mess going here, I'm going to go ahead and do that little bit on the inside. I want to stamp our weed. <laughs> I mean our wildflower. Hmm. Our beautiful wildflower on the inside. I'm I am changing I'm I'm taking a tangent here. I'm going off on a tangent from Best Original Card. Um sometimes we have to do that, right? Just make it make it to uh, make it us. All right. Let's stamp this in pebbled path. All right. Aw, so cute. So we got our little pebbled path um, wildflower. Almost said weed again. There. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some some speckles, blue speckles over it, but I'm going to stamp them off on the grid paper, or not grid paper, on the glass mat <laughs> first. And then just add a little bit of speckle action to that. And then I think we will add a little bit of this. Um grid is that what we call it yeah I'm going to stamp that off as well and then just stamp that just straight across here okay that was not straight okay I'm going to stamp it crooked on purpose <laughs> our our wild weed wild flower thing yeah it's cute isn't it all right so we got that uh, done let's just clean up on aisle five there we go okay <gasps> I think we're ready to put our card together what do you guys think all right let's do it I got leaves, I got things, I got stuff falling. Hang on, our circle just took a dive. Where did it go? Seriously. Oh my gosh, you guys. No, it, oh, okay, well, I don't know. I, never mind. All right, I see, I still have a circle over here. So something fell. A, we'll see if it was something we needed. If we did, we'll have to either find it or cut another one, right? Is that, that, um, is that cheating? <laughs> All right, this needs a little bit of um, sharpening with the bone folder. It's a little bit floppy. And we're gonna go ahead and put our card together. So this is that layer that was four and an eighth by five and th five and th 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 three eighths. <laughs> Math. Uh, <laughs> All right, I'm gonna close these ink pads up because they're making me mighty nervous. I'm just sure I'm going to stick my card in them if I don't act. All right, there we go. And let's get some adhesive on here. And away we go. All right. Now, on the last video, I had you guys doing a lot of voting, didn't I? And this one, since we're casing a card, there's been less voting.
All right, so we've got that layer on there. Let's go ahead and add this layer. Yeah, you can relate, right, Sharon? The open ink disaster. <laughs> That's a good name for it. Uh, it's like it's like a like cardstock is magnetically attracted to the <laughs> to that open ink pad, right? It's like, oh, I'm gonna take a dive in. So now, quick reminder: this glass mat that I'm using, this is only available in the, the starter kit. If you um, become a demonstrator, you can choose the glass mat studio. It comes with a cleaning cloth, comes with a silicone mat that has the little wells in it for doing um, uh, coloring techniques. All right, so we've got this. Oh my gosh, we forgot something. I almost forgot something. She used some designer paper back here. Hmm. All right, let's do this. I see you guys are going to get a vote. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at which pattern you want to use. So. Oh, we might need to add a little gold. Would that mess up our card? All right, I just, I've been dying to use this pattern. All right, mm, it's so pretty. Do you see how pretty that is? Um, we could, what would that look like if we used a little bit of that behind? And I wonder if she, I think maybe she cut a couple strips and tucked it behind. It almost looks like it's a full piece. But I think, yep, she just cut some little pieces. It also looks like she punched this layer out of the card base, clever girl, saving that paper. So what would it look like if we tucked that behind? Would the gold be the wrong direction for our card? Let's kind of lay it out here and look. I'm setting that stuff in inky stamps. That is not a good idea, Susan. Not a good idea. Um, we could add some gold. We could like make this be out of gold. I just found some gold scraps over on my, my die cutting desk when I was actually cleaning my die cutting desk. I know you don't believe me, but I honestly was. <laughs> Jennifer can back me up, right, Jennifer? All right, I'm gonna just kind of lay this out so we can decide what we think. The gold may not work, may not be able to do the gold but I'm gonna have you guys help me decide. All right, so I'm just randomly sticking them back there. We'll, we'll make them neater when we make the actual card, but just so that we get the idea. All right, so some of you like the gold, yay to gold. Let me grab this gold scrap here. What if, what if we punched out Fire punch. Oh, I'm sorry. That's probably annoyingly bright and shiny on your end. Sorry about that, friends. These are the gold foil sheets. They're in the annual catalog. Let's try a hexagon of gold. It might be a little brassy. That's one option. Let's try a gold bone. Or we could do, so that's one option with the gold there. Or Gretchen says no. No to what, Gretchen? No to gold? All right. Or we could do it this way, where instead of the brown circle, we make a gold circle and we do this. It's maybe a little less gold. Hmm. Too much gold. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not sure about the gold. With the blue, kind of throws me off. I think if we didn't have blue in the mix, it would be nice. So we're, we're, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. We're gonna, we're gonna save this for another card because we, believe me, we will be using this because it is gorgeous. It's just not maybe the right thing for this particular design. So what is, let's see, I think maybe some flowers. You can never go wrong with flowers, right? I know not everybody agrees with me, but uh, I like flowers. <laughs> All right, oh, here, a smaller piece of this. So we could do this one behind, like so. I think that's nice. Beth used um, <laughs> Beth used the grid, which is another nice choice. 
let's use the flowers. We're going to go with that because they kind of match our weedy look that we've added on the inside of the card. All right. Clear the deck, Susan. Let's get all this out of the way. And we're going to put these in my stash. They will be making an appearance in the future. Remember where they came from. <laughs> all right. So let's go ahead and cut some strips. I'm looking for my paper trimmer. <laughs> ah, found it. Ah, I put the designer paper on top of it, completely covering it up, and it vanished. So my apologies. Take a sip. Take two. We have found it. Uh, I am going to take a wild guess and say this was maybe what? Okay, that's three and a quarter. I'm going to make this three. And I just need a couple pieces. I just need some little, um, let's do, oh, I'll make it big. Let's go three-fourths of an inch. That's way more than I need. But I don't want to be chintzy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple bits to add to our card. Now I think we're ready to put our card together. Let's get our adhesive if I haven't lost it. All right, so... These pieces are going to go at the top and the bottom. <clears throat> might, might be easier just to attach them to this. So I think I'll do that. Easier for me to get them on straight and in the right place. So I'm just going to go in here and just kind of stick that down. Maybe like so. There we go. And, oh yeah, the gold fleck one would be pretty. We used that on our last card, didn't we? This DSP is, or does, I'm sorry, that is demonstrator talk for designer series paper. I shouldn't use those acronyms. Not everybody knows that, but designer series paper, also known as DSP, um, it, it's a beautiful one. And it's called Nature of Sweetness, now that Susan has <clears throat> found the name. <laughs> All right, so we've got this ready to stick on. All right, there we go. And now we're going to go ahead and layer this up. And it looks like I'm just going to put a little adhesive in the middle of this and tuck, tuck our stems behind it. Is that what I want to do? Mm, maybe not. Oh, I can't decide. All right, yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to stick this in the center and <clears throat> let's just get, um, let's get sticky here. Put some adhesive right on the glass mat, pull this up and tuck this under. So I'm going to start with the bigger pieces, the big leafy stems. Let's put a little adhesive on the end of this. There we go. Is anyone shocked that I'm getting ink or getting adhesive all over my mat? It'll come right off. No worries. All right. So we've got our leaves coming out there. That's a nice balance. And then we're going to add these ones in next. Ooh, hang on. I got a little, I've got some sticky showing. I don't want sticky showing. You're going to have to shove in a little bit farther. There we go. That's better. Then we're going to add a little bit here. And tuck this one in right here. There we go. You can also use um, glue dots on these stems if you prefer. Those are a great way to add little embellishments like this. All right, so we've got our boho leaves there. And the last ones, you know what? I think I will use glue dots just to show you how that works on these two. All right, glue dots. Found them. They were right where they belong. Weird. All right, there's the next one. So I'm just going to take my stem, push it onto the dot of glue, and lift it up. And we're going to poke that one right under here. 
The other option is you can stick these stems down first and then cover them up with ink. Oops, I want you a little bit farther in. There we go. All right, so got our little stems there. Oh, I have a dog scratching on the door. Hmm. Let's see here. And one more right here. go and we'll tuck this under here I can tell you that that is my dog named Mercy because she loves not like to be left out of things all right so we've got all our leaves in place and now we're going to go ahead and finish out our card this one we're actually going to put on with some dimensionals so let's grab those right here one too. <laughs> yeah, the dog is bringing me ice water. Oh man, I would love if that dog was trained to do that, but she is not. She's coming to tell me she wants something. I'll bet you anything. <laughs> they get their teeth brushed every night at nine o'clock. And after their teeth get brushed, they get treats. Now my niece was shocked at this because she thought that negated the, the whole point of teeth brushing, but that's a dog. They don't care, <laughs> right? doesn't matter. Um, so they really like their teeth brushing time because of the treats. So um, they do not let me forget that it is time for that treat. So I've got dimensionals on the back of here too. Ah, I, my son has taken care of the dog. So excellent. All right. So there's the front of our card. And we're going to um, add some embellishments because, you know, that's how we roll. We're going to add our, our lovely little weed here. <laughs> the dog misses me. Maybe she misses me giving her treats. Yes. <laughs> um, they are whippets. So a whippet is a smaller version of a greyhound, if you're not familiar with um, that particular dog. They're very skinny. They don't have a lot of hair. They have very beautiful winter coats because they get cold and they have nicer coats than I do. Um, all right, so we're going to add our embellishments here. And first, I'm going to get rid of the sticky stuff because it's getting in my way. So I'm just going to use my stamp and mist and just rub it off. Easy peasy. Yay, all gone. All right, and now we're going to, uh, what do we do? We put the inside in. Oh yes, embellishments, how could I forget? All right, so again, we are exactly casing this card from Beth Tetzlaff. Okay, we made a couple teeny tiny changes. We changed uh, the paper to a different pattern. Um, I think that's all we did, right? <laughs> so thank you, Beth, for inspiring us. Uh, all right, we need to, pick some. Now Beth used um, good old standard, the, the gold standard, right? It's not gold, the rhinestones, the basic rhinestones. Always a good choice. Let me just have a foray in my drawer and see if that's um, what we want to use. All right, here we go. Here's, here's some rhinestones that are ready to rock. So that is an option. However, however, guess what? We have other options. We could. These are on the floor, but hey, they can come up and play. Instead, we could do the iridescent pearls instead of the rhinestones. I'm looking for things that kind of match our paper and our card here. Um, let's just... Uh, I don't think we want to go gold. No, we don't have any gold going on here, Susan. That would be silly. Okay. I'm going to keep digging. Hang on. Um, I'm looking to see if I have any, I don't think we have, do we have any pebble path embellishments? Yeah, we do right here. So we could do these pebble path embellishments um, or the boho blue ones. So these are the in color dots they're called. So they come in all of the in colors. So let me know in the comments which one we're doing. Rhinestones, pearls, or the dots? Rhinestones, <laughs> pearls, or the dots? Let me know in the comments. Oh, Nicole's dog could spell ball, park, walk. Yeah, mine no walk big time. Walk and treats. Oh, and squirrel, of course. I don't I don't think you have squirrels in Australia, do you? But um, yeah, it's a very popular word with my dogs. <laughs> it will have them running at the door. 
All right, which one are we using? Oh, I'm seeing a lot of dots. All right, some of the, yeah, the pearls are nice. I agree with you. Um, looks like the dots are in the lead. So let's give the dots a go here. Hey, if we don't like them, we can do something else, right? And we got two options on dots, or we can use some of each. Um, we can use the blue. It might be too much blue. Let's see what we think. So there's some blue. I am using all the small ones. I guess I could use a bigger one maybe. Let's see here. All right, so that's the blue. Very pretty. Or we could use, well, it's Linda's saying she loves the stamp set. She has this one, but she, now she thinks she needs the dots, which you probably do. But you know what? You can get them, right? It's no worries. Easy to do. Let's try it with the, now we're not going to get the, um, the pop that we get with the blue, but we're going to try the Pebbled Path because we have a lot of Pebbled Path on this card. And I want you to see all your options, right? <laughs> Oh, come on. I'm going to chase it all the way around the page. All right, there it is. Um, where was this one at? Maybe up here. And then let's change this one out. So if you were making this card, which would you do? Would you do the elegant pebbled path for that little bit of brown? Or would you use the blue? <laughs> right? They are, they're, they're, I don't think we have a wrong answer here. I think um, I think it looks nice both ways, actually. Add another one there, and then oh, we got we got people voting for both. If they were making this card, some people say blue, some people say pebbled path. Um, yeah, I, I don't. I think you could go either way. I don't know that I would mix. I think I would stick with one or the other. Um, that's just me. I could be totally wrong about that, but I'm going to stick to three and I'm going to go with these three right here. And I'm going to do the pebble path, pebble path. <laughs> um, I will also take these off and put the, the boho blue ones on. I always post pictures of our cards in our, um, the Sue Stampfield Facebook group. Anyone is welcome to join me there. Um, I post the pictures after the, uh, the next day in the morning. So I will put a picture with, um, both dot color options, right? And, um, either one will work, right? So anyone is welcome to join that, um, Sue Stampfield Facebook group. Just, uh, find it on Facebook, uh, request to join and I'll pop you in. All right. Um, so quick reminder, the project sheet email went out today with two, uh, never ending fun fold cards. Uh, project sheets in it. There'll be another project sheet coming soon. So if you're not currently getting the project sheets, oh, by the way, um, I did uh, uh, change out so that our welcome letter has this one in it. So if you haven't signed up for the project sheets yet, you can go out and subscribe. You'll get an email with um, this project sheet in it um, and another one. And then I also have the link to the email I sent out that includes this one. So you'll get all of those and then the next ones going forward. But there is our card tonight. Again, shout out to Beth Tetzlaff for inspiring us this evening. So much appreciate her beautiful card. I love the colors. There's just something very calming about that card. And I'm gonna flip here. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Jennifer, thank you for um, dropping all the important things in the comments for us. I appreciate it. Have a great evening. Uh, enjoy the rest of January. If you're in Australia, that's not very far away because you're a day ahead of us. Um, for us, uh, tomorrow is the last day of January. So um, if you haven't had a chance to qualify for the Crafter Noon in February to place a $50 order before tax and shipping in my online store, if you're in the US, um, then you will qualify for the February Crafter Noon and you'll get a packet for our next fun fold card. Can't wait to uh, send a little inspiration your way. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. Uh, not showing the dimensions. Mm. I am not Marsha because 
I did not write them down. I didn't type them up because I wasn't even sure what we were making for sure tonight. So um, I I will put the dimensions in the Facebook group as well. Um, and you know what? I'll put them in the, uh, the description box here um, on YouTube as well. So take care, everyone. Have a great evening. And we'll see you Saturday night at 730 Central for another video adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>